Three, two, one. Okay, so far we've talked about the cards. We've talked about how to play the cards and activate the, the verse rules. Another thing that's very important during the play of your turn is called closing a book. Let's say during my turn, I see that, um, that one of the chapters, in this case chapter two, has a lot of icons of a given theme. In this case, it's wisdom. In fact, there are one, two, three, four, five, six icons. In my hand, I have another card with a seventh icon, which I'm going to play. And in order to play that, I have to sacrifice one. So I play it into the chapter. And now I can see that there are seven icons of one theme. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can now close this chapter as a book. To do that, I first say that I'm closing the chapter. I'm closing chapter two. I'm closing it as a wisdom book. Um, and we each count how many verses and how many icons we have in the, in the chapter. Now, any player who has um, verses in chapter two that's being closed up now gets to receive a blessing. So I would receive a blessing and my opponent would also receive a blessing because my opponent also has verses in the chapter. Now, since I am the one who closed the book, I also get to receive a second verse. Now we also check to see who has the most icons of that given theme. In this case, I had one, two, three, four, five, and my opponent had two, so I would have more. So normally I would receive a, sec a, a third uh, blessing. However, because I had already received two, I don't receive that third one. So those are the three criteria for receiving blessings. First of all, being involved in the book, having verses in the chapter. Second of all, um, actually declaring the closed book. And third, having the most icons of the declared theme. But remember that you can only receive two out of the three criteria, two ver uh, blessing verses. Once the blessing verses have been um, counted and received, each player removes the verses to their discard pile, and this turn, my turn, immediately goes to the end phase. And if I had things to do in the end phase, I would do them now, and then it would my turn would be over, and it would be my opponent's turn. This is how, primarily, we go about receiving the blessings in our blessing stack. And of course, as we stated earlier, as you receive all of your blessings, you win the game.